good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you check out jerichogreen.net, mygreengear.com. I just got done with my live stream. I do it every day except Sunday, Monday through Saturday, 1 p.m. PST. All right, check that out. A little different format than I do here, interacting with the comment section and shit, you know, I'm reading the super chats. And it's about uh, an hour and a half long, you know, versus these shorter videos here. So check it out. 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Saturday, Jericho Green, lot green, <laughs> Jericho Green live stream. How about that? Um, so the other day, I mean, just when you think, like, can they get more out of touch and say some more outlandish, out-of-pocket shit? Yes, they can. So the COVID advisor or whatever to uh, our grandpa in chief, that shaky-handed son of a bitch, um, he was on there with Fauci and the head of CDC. So three times evil right there. This COVID advisor, Fauci, and the ding-dong from the CDC. The one who said, oh, we're, we're hitting a reset. All that... All that sweet and sour sniffle stuff and the Pope, oh, you know, we are bad. So he's up there with them and he says he believes that the reason God gave us two arms is one arm for the flu vaccine and one arm for the sweet and sour sniffles Pope. Can you believe that shit? Now, whether that was a joke, which I don't think it was, or he was being serious, either way, that's a painfully stupid and out of touch thing to say. Like his finger's nowhere near the pulse of this country. Nowhere near. And many times, this isn't the only time, and unfortunately this won't be the last time, where they weaponize religion. Now Biden is perverted. He's going to sit up there and tell us, oh, in Scranton, oh, I went to this Catholic school in Scranton, and I'm a Catholic. But then you're, you support abortion. Huh? Now, whether or not you choose to partake in religion is up to you, but each major religion comes with a set of guidelines and rules, usually in book form. And for Catholics and Christians, that's called the Bible. And the Bible lays it out just like any other religious book, any other religious uh, rules, manual, operations, manual. It lays out what you're supposed to do in pretty much every conceivable situation. So you claim to be a Christian, but you're okay with abortion. Even the Pope, the damn Pope, came out and said, Jesus would want you to get the vaccine. Jesus was pro-vaccine. How? People were still afraid to eat certain kinds of meat. How the fuck did they have a vaccine back then? There were 9,000 people a day dying from trying to make the pyramids. They didn't have refrigeration. How are they having vaccines? How do you know Jesus was pro-vaccine? But when it's convenient, they weaponize religion. Well, God would want you to do this. God says you're supposed to get a vaccine. Shut the fuck up. No, he doesn't. You can't cloak yourself in religion when it's necessary for you and then turn around and make it a sharp stabbing weapon when it suits you. That's stupid. But the nerve of that dude to say that's why God gave us two arms, not to get through life, not to create and build and shit like that, not to embrace our loved ones or to carry a heavy load. No, it's for you to get some juice that we made. The nerve of these people, it's like they act like these cameras don't work. Like they're in North Korea and these aren't real news cameras. These are just boxes. There's nothing inside of them. This is all fake. Well, unfortunately, here in America, we have infrastructure, we have electricity, and we have well-functioning technology. And yes, our cameras are on and our microphones work. So when you say some stupid shit like this, the whole world can hear you. Now, I used to make the mistake of thinking the CDC, Fauci, and this jackass work for us. No, they don't. Because there's no American that has a life here and family here and a future here that would do the type of shit that they're trying to do to us. I thought they were done. Did they relax everything? Can't any, anybody, whether you're poked or not, do what you want to do and you don't have to quarantine and the kids can go back to school. And as long as you don't have any symptoms, what happened? I thought you guys rolled all that shit back. Remember, the head of CDC said, we're doing a reset. We're doing a remodel. Don't worry, we'll be open during construction. But we're doing a remodel. We're just going to hit reset. 
Like it's that easy for the, for those of us who made it through the last two and a half years of this bullshit to just hit reset. Small business owners who lost everything hit reset. Parents whose kids have scars that we don't even know about from that year of school that they lost hit reset. All the kids and the and the women who were forced to stay at home and the men who were forced to stay at home in abusive situations because you weren't allowed to go to school and get a reprieve, hit reset. The people who were at home with their alcoholic parents kicking the shit out of them even more because school was closed, hit reset. All you kids that have mental and physical issues from not being in school for a year plus, just hit reset. Stop crying to your politicians about it. Stop, stop trying to make them fix it. Stop trying to fix it yourself. Just hit reset. Because you know, everybody in their home, wherever they live, an apartment, a house, or whatever, under a bridge, everybody has that big red button from Staples. When you hit it and it says, that was easy. Just hit your reset button. That's what the CDC is going to do after they fucked our lives up and trampled over our country. Just hit reset. You fucking taxpayers make it so difficult with your voting and changing the laws and kicking people out. They don't do what you want. Golly, just hit reset. That's what you say to us after you turned our lives upside down for two and a half years, pitted the poked against the unpoked, championed and then vilified medical workers, threatened people's job, took people's job, ended people's business shit on their dreams. And all you say is, we're going to hit reset. Oh, shit. Reset? Hey, bill collectors, reset. That's some sad shit. That fool got up there like nobody was listening and said, that's why you have two arms. That's why God gave you two arms. Because to take this poke, it's of God. God would want you to do this. No, hey. Don't worry about that. We just created it a year ago and we didn't go through the trials and what's considered a fast track to get something to the to the marketplace is four years. Normally it takes 10, but we had to whip this shit up in a lunch break. Put it in your arm because God wants you to. God wants this for you. God wants you to come to us for what you need, for, for what you need, not him. This is what God wants. This is why he made you this way. You thought he gave you these two arms? All this dexteria ability for what? <laughs> no, it's to hang around until 2022 and get the Pope. When are we getting rid of these people? I wish the presidency had a midterm. But we need to alert him of things to come by crushing these people in the midterm. November, hurry up. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the Linktree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net and MyGreenGear.com. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.